of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your real presence and minister to you. And so humbly we pray that sharing in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Louis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Peace stand. Now at the Savior's command, informed by the teaching of Jesus, with full faith we sing. us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, our weaknesses, our failures, but upon our faith. Graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share a gift of that peace among ourselves. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
The Holy Spirit within you confirms the awesome truth. This is no longer bread. This is Jesus Christ. So behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called by name to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you.
Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and love strengthened. We pray, O oh Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We thank all the servants, those who arrange for the Mass and prepare so well so that we might be lifted up. And especially, though, we thank you. Because by you choosing to come to the feast tonight, you make it easier for the rest of us to believe that what we do here is real and makes a difference. So you count. And what you do counts. And even if nobody notices you as you serve each day, Jesus does. Because Jesus never fails to notice. And with that in mind, may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended, but we stay in peace. Thanks be to God. Let your children experience learning while having fun and trust them to the kids' ministry while you listen to the talk right after the Mass. Look for Liz, Zhang, or Trishan at the reception area outside this venue. We invite you to stay after this for the special talk to be given by our brother Randy and sister Risa to start this Lenten season. We are inviting everyone to attend the encounter Life in the Spirit Seminar on March 23 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Sunshine Place, Jupiter Street, Mahati. For registration, please proceed to the registration area outside this venue. Thank you.
isa. Sa pa second song. Ang press response ka na sa pa. Touch of heaven, pwede ka mag-i-play. Touch of heaven. Mag-i-play ka. Mag-i-play ka, touch of heaven. Ito sa pa-second song. Good afternoon, Priestess and Mora. I want to invite everyone to stand up. We're going to worship our God. According to the dictionary, worship means uh, it's the feeling or expression of reverence and adoration. And how can we not adore someone? How can we not adore our God who has been so faithful to us? And today we're going to go back to our source. As we, we ended the Lenten season, we're going to go back to our source. Forget about the lights, the stage, the people around you, and we're just going to worship Him, all right? This is just between you and our God, amen? All right, we worship Him with this song. Come on, hands up. to give you hope in the future but I think most of us also forget to go to the next verse 
that says, then you will call on me and you will come pray to me and I will listen to you. Then you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And right now, brothers and sisters, I just want to invite you to just worship him. Just I don't know where you're coming from as we worship. I don't know if you're going through something, if you're carrying a heavy burden, or if you're perfectly fine and you're just really grateful. But one thing is constant, and it's that he listens. But now it's our turn. I want to invite you to just bask in his presence and just take this time to actually listen to him. I will linger and listen I can't miss a thing Lord, I know my heart wants more of you My heart wants something new So I surrender Cause all I want is to live within your love Done by who you are. My desire is to know you deeper. Lord, I will open up again. Throw my fears into the wind. I am desperate for a touch of heaven. Oh, Five in the morning, you're the cool in the evening, the breath in my soul, oh, the life in my bones. There is no hesitation in your love and affection, it's the sweetest of all. Lord, I know my heart wants more of you my heart wants something new so i surrender all cause all i want is to live within your love being done by who you are my desire is to know you Fears into the wind. I am desperate for a touch of heaven. Oh, 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 oh,
This story while we were worshiping. I I have a friend who used to be a, an editor of a children's magazine, and one day she she told us young mothers we were our, our kids were small then, and she said, "Hey, we were supposed to have a contest um, for our magazine to give away tickets to Disney on Ice." But we didn't, we weren't able to get a, a DTI permit. You need a DTI permit to, to do raffles, right? So she said, so we're, we're stuck with all these tickets and we're just giving them away, but we can't do a raffle. So she said, if you just send in your name and your details, I'll give you tickets. So that's what we did. Friends, our friends, our group, we just emailed our, you know, entry. And we were sure to, to win. We were sure to get Disney tickets. They were expensive. You know, those of you who've been to Disney on ice, they're, they're quite pricey. So I was able to get four for my, my two kids. Or I think, I, think I, I just had one daughter that I can't remember now. But we had free tickets. And the Lord just reminded me of that story while I was here as we were worshiping. Because this is a time of grace. This, this Lenten season, God is dispensing grace. God is dispensing gifts. And all we have to do is send in the entry. Our community is on a 40-day uh, retreat. You know, we've We've provided so many um, things for us to make our own Lent meaningful. How many of you have been watching our online retreat, Embraced? Is it blessing you? It's blessing me. It's blessing me every single day. I'm excited for noontime because they upload the new video. It's just a short video and I shared it with friends. I share it on my FB if you're doing it, share it with others. Because, you know, how many of us have the, the leisure of doing a 40-day retreat, you know? Some of us don't even get a, a two- or three-day retreat in a year. But this is a 40-day retreat for all of us. And all you have to do is send in your entry because you're sure to win. And um, tonight, I want to share with you about silence. Uh, mm -hmm. Father Bob kind of shared it. If you noticed, our music's kind of um, subdued. When we had Ash Wednesday Mass in our office, uh, before the priest started uh, the Mass, he reminded us, he said, you know, let's, let's sing more subdued songs this Lent. And there's a reason for that, so that we can listen. We can listen more to Jesus. So are you ready to come to the quiet this Lent? Are you ready to listen and receive from the Lord? Let's pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. 
Do we have that on the screen? Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Our word today comes from... Um, the book of Psalms, Psalm 46, verse 10. And it says, can you read with me? Be still and know that I am God. Be, be still and know that I am God. You know, when, um, when I was young, my mom would um, often tell me, if you have nothing good to say, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's another way of putting it. If you have nothing good to say, yeah, don't even say it. Don't say anything at all. And there are many, many times when I've gotten myself into trouble because of this part of my body. And uh, I remember um, in the olden days when uh, the beeper was the gadget of communication. Nabuta mo ba yun, Isa? <laughs> Malit ka pa, wala ka pa, hindi ka na umabot sa beeper generation. Ha? Ah, yung sinusuot mo ba dito, di ba? Ah, yung paliita ng beeper, di ba? One time, may nagpadala ng message sa akin. For those of you who are not familiar with the technology, yung beeper, tatawag ka sa operator. Beeper 150, di ba? Yung mga gano'n. Ano pa yung mga ibang ba? Sa akin, beeper 150. Tatawag ka sa operator, bibigay mo yung beeper number nung gusto mong padala ng message. Tapos, sabi mo, this is Risa, and my message is, tapos, ganyan. So, the operator will type your message, tapos, isesend niya dun sa beeper Nung tao. So one time, somebody sent me a message and I read the message and, and I said, oh my gosh, this brother from the community died. Eh, kasama namin yun sa singles ministry, you know? I mean, he's, he's one of the younger guys. So syempre ako, kinalat ko agad. Sabi ko, namatay si ganyan, namatay si ganyan. Hindi kami, ha, talaga, ano kayo nangyari sa kanya? Eh, syempre, beeper, hindi ka makaka-reply, di ba? <laughs> Tatanggap ka lang eh. So, Nalaman ng lahat na namatay siya dahil sa akin. And then, nung prayer meeting that week, I can't remember if I was the one talking or I was on stage because I was also singing, Lo and behold, who comes inside the hall? I was horrified to see that the dead, di ba, come alive. Tapos lahat ng mga kaibigan ko tinginan sa akin, Kala ko ba patay? Ako pala ang pumatay sa kanya. So, apparently, the operator made a mistake. Ang na-encode niya, imbis na, kunyari, David, David's dad died. Dad! Hindi si David. di ba? Nalimutan niya. Hindi niya na-type yung dad. So, yung daddy pala nitong taong to ang namatay. So, I never heard the end of that na ako yung nakapatay dun sa tao na yon, Way before his time. But really, I mean, di ba? How many times... Have we gotten into trouble because of our mouth? Kaya sabi sa James 3, verse 2 to 5, sabi, If anyone does not offend in word, he is a perfect man. The tongue is a small member, but it boasts mightily. Talagang maraming mapapahamak dito sa, sa organ na to. And um, so, that's, you know, this... this Lenten season, let's make that effort to power down our tongue, power down the noise in our lives, power down the noise in our thoughts, in our heads. I love what Father Bob shared with us Monday to Sunday. I wrote that down so I won't forget it. And I told my daughter that we'll do it together. Even the noise in our heads, 
we need to power down so that we can listen to God. Amen? Amen. So we thank God for His Word as we sing. Give the Lord a clap offering. And you may be seated, but I'm not yet done. Okay? Is that okay with you? Nisip ko lang kasi ang tagal ko kayong pinatayo last week. Kaya, bawi ako today. Thank you, music ministry and worship leaders. Lately, I've been reflecting on silence because of Lent nga. Um, and... It's important, you know, the, the silence, you know, the silence of Lent is important. In prayer, silence is important. But I've also been reflecting how silence can be hurtful. Silence can also be hurtful. It can be hurtful as sharp words, especially when the silence comes from a person that we want to hear from. Can you relate? Example, ka, na, nag-away kayo ng boyfriend mo, nag-away ka ng asawa mo, di ba? Tapos hindi nagte-text sa'yo, hindi ka kinakausap, di ba? So there are times when silence hurts more than words. Am I right? Yeah. Nakarelate ba yung mga singles dito na in a relationship? <laughs> di ba? So when you're yon. Or, or may tinex ka na may gusto ka dun sa tao na yon, di ba? Tapos tingin ka ng tingin sa phone mo, hindi pa sumasagot. Di ba? Silence can be hurtful. Um, I was chatting with a, a college friend recently and um, grabe, na empty nest na siya. Kasi, you know, her kids are going off to college and um, she, she lives abroad. So there, when, when their kids go to college, they really leave home. And she was telling me that, that sometimes her kids can go for two weeks without calling her or texting her. And sometimes she'll say, Oh, nalimutan, mo, nalimutan niyo na ba yung nanay niyo? Di ba? Sometimes they will call or text only when they need money. Or, di ba? So she told me, So guess what we got recently? We got a dog. Silang mag-asawa. Kasi daw yung dog faithful. Mas faithful daw minsan sa anak. <laughs> Hindi ka nalilimutan. <laughs> palaging, palaging glad to see you. Di ba? So there are times when silence can be more hurtful than words. But this Lent, what we need is holy silence. Ano ba yung holy silence? Um, when I was... Uh, when I attended my Life in the Spirit seminar uh, ages ago, when they taught us how to pray, ang sabi nila, when you have your prayer time, uh, you follow the formula ACTS. Alam, niya, alam natin yan, di ba? ACTS, A-C-T-S. A is adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. So we always, we, we learn that, we know that. But I remember that during that talk, they said ACTS plus Q. Di natin nat- natuturo palagi yung plus Q. Ang alam lang natin yung act. And the Q is quiet. The Q is quiet because prayer is a conversation. It's not a monologue. Di ba? It's not a soliloquy. Those of you who are literature fans, di ba? Si, pag si, pag si um, William Shakespeare gumawa ng play, may mga parts na soliloquy. Or sa Korean novela, yung, yung bida, yung kinakausap niya yung sarili niya, di ba? Yun, soliloquy, di ba? But prayer is not like that. Prayer is speaking to God, and then, and then what? And then God speaks back to you. Di ba? Ganun ang, ganun ang conversation. Di ba nakakainis ka usap yung parang pader? Yung, yung, narinig mo ba ako? Narinig mo ba ako? Narinig mo ba yung kwento ko? Diba? Walang reaction in our. My kids are like that to me sometimes. Mom, mom, mom! Did you understand what I said? Diba? Tapos papaulit nila yung kwento nila just to test me if I was listening. You know? 
And sometimes they're like that to me also. Pause, 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 pause. Ginaganyan ko sila. Kasi pag nakaharap na yung YouTube sa kanila, wala na, wala na silang naintindihan. So I have to, I have to tell them to pause so that they can listen. So prayer has to be a two-way street. And so it's important, the cue is important kasi kailangan tayo matutong makinig kasi listening to God is also a skill. You know, I attended a, a, a counseling um, course last summer and counseling all the time, all this, this